Industry 4.0 is basically a set of technologies that we are trying to explore application in manufacturing. So Industry 4.0 is a kind of a transformation which we would like to bring to the manufacturing facilities where we will be using more cyber physical connect. We will be trying to connect our physical assets on the shop floor to the web. And then we would like to explore the integration of the information technology and operational technology. So which will bring out many benefits to the manufacturing industry. So this overall concept is being uh, termed as an industry 4.0. First of all, I think there is a uh, not very clarity available with the industry as you have asked about industry 4.0. People, people are still in a phase of demystifying this approach actually. They are still not able to understand what exactly in terms of benefits and ROI it can bring it to them. So people are not very open in industry right now because they are still exploring and understanding what exactly this concept about uh, industry 4.0 and later on they will be absorbing it slowly over a period of time. So in fact this one of this center what uh, we are working here right now is working very closely with the industry where we are showcasing some of the technology developments let them understand and experience what exactly this technology is and then later on they will use these technologies in their shop floor so so people are in exploration mode right now in fact as an academician also we are also trying to understand these technology blocks so that we will educate people we will uh, in fact create awareness about this industry 4.0 to the manufacturing companies First of all, this uh, misconception that everything will be available on the cloud is not correct. When we talk about the data, there is a segregation of the data. Some of the data will be used in premises only. You need not to share all the data on the cloud to implement industry 4.0. Only where we look forward that data will be useful for another uh, facility at a different geographical locations or we would like to consolidate data from different manufacturing plants there again we are sharing the limited set of the data so whenever we talk about the implementation of the cloud infrastructure it's always on premises basically where data is still confined into the premises only and then some of the selected data from this uh, manufacturing uh, premises can be taken to the cloud for comparison and sharing with the other infrastructure in the different locations so that way data is not that way my data is transparently available to anyone on the cloud it's not like that so data is again segregated some of the data will be used within the plant only and some of the data will be shared again this sharing is again limited to certain set of parameters only it's not the all production data will be shared outside the plant so that way certainly as internet technology get matured over a period of time data security is always a concern but people have worked a lot on the, on, on the data security part as well so you can always uh, protect your data on premises if that is a sensitive data only the selective data can be shared I think uh, whatever development happens that is industry 3.0 what people are talking right now in fact these building blocks are already available in place what industry 4 try to bring out is the connectivity connect all these individual uh, technologies together and then basically uh, make the data and the information available outside the plant for the comparison actually and giving more customer oriented services so that is the main thing so the physical implementation in terms of the technology is already there so automation robotics quality control systems they are all in place but only information is not integrated or not shared across the plant even so connecting that's what i said the connecting operational technologies what you are talking about is the operational technologies connecting operational technologies and information technologies together bring much more advantages than just talking about the technology blocks individually. Now 
what I see hurdle is that even we know the technologies, what world is basically pushing is the technology blocks. So technology is fine, but people are still not able to correlate what this benefit they can extract from this technology piece. So unless they do small and small pilots, they will not be able to understand the strength and benefits of the technology. And I think that is the biggest barrier. They, they, they understood technology, they appreciate the technology, but they are still not able to find out the ROI and the benefit coming out of the technology. So I think unless these pilots can be done at a smaller scale by the industry, they will not be able to absorb the concept of Industry 4.0. So once it is clear, they, they understand, So because businessmen understand the, the uh, ROI part actually. Unless that is coming out of the technology very clearly, it's always a barrier to absorb the technology. In terms of cost, it depends on where you are right now. See, if you are in a state where we call an industry 2.0 technologies, then certain upgradation will bring out a heavy investment and heavy cost. Those who have already gone through the phases of industry 3.0, it means that automation is already in place, robotics is already being used, you have certain connected machines, CNC machines, then upgradation and connectivity to industry 4.0 is not that costly because ultimately it's all software integrations to be done together. So uh, that way where exactly you are right now, uh, the cost factor will be decided based on that. Certainly in terms of advantages also because this requires a minimum level of uh, implementation to start on industry 4.0. So unless your facility is ready to that, uh, you will not be able to move so easily into the industry 4.0. Uh, so in terms of ROI, if you are already at the 3.0, certainly you will get a better returns. Most of the time it may not be tangible because uh, what benefits we are looking after with this kind of integration is the improvement in the quality, the improvement in the productivity, more customized product, more customer oriented services. So these are the some of the benefits which you can quantify some of them. Some of them is basically the qualitative uh, benefits that this you can is all measurable output sir. Curve. This is, uh, this is all, these all are the measurable outputs. outputs. Correct, correct. So that's what I say. For example, customer experience and satisfaction cannot be measured in terms of the revenue. It's always be reflected in terms of their uh, growth and the sale and the market share actually. So some of the tangible benefits you can convert into the, the, uh, the rupees and some of the benefits you can see in a long term basically in terms of the customer satisfaction. In fact, uh, this is a good aspect when we are talking about industry 4.0, everybody is in the same bus. What I have re realized across the world also when we visited Europe and other countries, they all are in the phase of development actually and they are also in the same uh, time, we are hardly lagging 5-6 years, not much. In earlier industrial revolutions, it, it has happened almost after 20-30 years that we start adopting those technologies. In industry 4.0, it's basically almost contemporary. People are working in uh, Europe and Western countries. At the same time, India has also started working in that direction. So we are not that much lagging behind in terms of the technology part. Certainly those who are developing technologies, they are dominating in this domain. We are most of the time the users of the technology. So our market will get up ready over uh, some period. And, but uh, people have started uh, understanding and exploring these technologies. They already started doing some pilot projects in their plants. So in that sense, I see India is almost uh, moving towards that, what the Western countries are doing. In fact, we always go with the assessment. We always start with an initial assessment. So there's always a maturity level to be judged before we propose any solution towards that. So there's always an uh, initial assessment where we can discuss with the, uh, the industry owner or we will visit their factory floor also and where the state of the machines and equipments and connectivity it is. Based on that, we'll give the recommendations to them. So there are always, uh, uh, I should say, the low hanging fruits from where they can start working on this because it always required a phase-wise implementation. If you plan for a huge investment, then nobody is going to try it out. So we always recommend that you start with a small pilot, go with a phase-wise implementation and try to realize the benefits out of it. I think that way um, it can go.
minimum cost minimum cost if you, you see that ha so it it depend if you are starting with a few machines so if i just talk about the one one pilot project if you want to do if your machine is already connected and and a state of art machine it will hardly take you uh, less than a lakh rupees to start with that but if your machine is an old uh, legacy machine then you need to buy some more hardware to integrate with that it may be within 5 lakh rupees you can do a good pilot of the industry for once basic building blocks are same uh, in industry 4.0 only somewhere the parameters and variables are different to be monitored as you said the data is the key so somewhere data is coming in terms of number of pieces produced data is coming in some uh, in the in the, the mass flow rate or the different parameters so maybe the type of sensors type of controllers may be little bit different but the overall implementation of industry 4 is same across the industry so uh, in terms of manufacturing transformation what i see uh, indian manufacturers are always technology savvy what i found that if the use of the technology is justified if he is able to see a good return out of that investment i am seeing that people are importing very costly machines from outside and they are still installing in it as you see the example of the robots also even a very msme kind of an industry will also be using robots these days uh, uh, though the cost of the robot is still high but they are able to justify the utilization of the technology so in terms of a uh, changes that because our businessman is quite smart and intelligent today so if if the cost or the investment is justified in terms of investment in technology i think people are going for that so uh, only thing that i mentioned to you is that people have to understand roi out of the technology just talking about the technology in industry 4.0 is not going to help in penetration so uh, idea is that we are also trying to build up some of the use cases where we can demonstrate the benefits out of the technology so people are able to connect more towards that and they will be able to understand the value of that implementation i think that the, that bring out the transformation much faster so commercially viable examples to be built up actually they are not easily available today as as such stop stop <laughs> what we need to do to make it more viable for our industry we need to do an indigenous research on that so that the cost of those hardware and software development can be brought it down so that our industry with a low turnover can also be able to experiment and implement it so viability in that sense technology is proven actually people have already adopted and used across the world only for india we need to break the tech, the price barrier actually we are it requires a lot of indigenous development and a local research actually there we need to work certainly we have not advanced in that sense we are trying to cope up with whatever development has happened across the world so our industry only last few years one or two years the awareness has been uh, brought to the indian industries actually so our industries are now gearing up actually only certain mncs which have their manufacturing facilities in india they started deployment and development part on this our indian industry is still in a phase of learning and understanding uh, what exactly it is and what changes it can bring upon so we are we are certainly lagging not i should not say it's in advanced stage because we are still learning and trying to explore the benefit of the technology in 
terms of awareness, I think there are a lot of activities going in India. In fact, I have seen that every month you will get you know, two, three seminars uh, going on. Industry 4.0 every month actually. So in either CII or FIKI or, or most of the industry associations, they are they are running these awareness programs to basically educate people and make the people aware about these developments. I think a lot of momentum has been generated in terms of the awareness. Now, point is that from that awareness level, we need to create an, a ground reality to implement them. I think then people are moving towards that and certainly the bigger role is playing by the, the technology companies which are bringing these technologies from the world. So they are trying to market these technologies certainly but we need to understand uh, the benefit of the technology in Indian perspective. So okay. there the people are working. Right?